Just wanted to finally get this out there. If anyone doesn't know me, I did not much to know. I'm uh, just a dorky guy making toys for himself and uh, trying to get the Static Shock fan film made. I think uh, you know a lot of people will get a huge kick out of it. A lot of kids will like it, and I think that's the game. I'm not the goal. I'm gonna try to get to there is that to make a movie that really awesome movie for like young kids to watch and that I would like to see as a kid so that's my goal it's not going to be like really pornographic or anything it's going to be pretty fun and just fun for everybody uh just want to show off my stuff that I'm coming up with here I put together this little bottle of ecto cooler pretty much it's a you know it's a Mountain Dew bottle but I put ecto cooler on it green it's a you know it's a start i'm going to try to have this be a, pro a feature in the film i'm making uh if you spot it i don't know where you if you know about this thing this is the 8 bit o nintendo uh you don't need a nintendo for this but it's based on a nintendo controller um it's uh it's pretty neat it's uh unfortunately when you buy this thing what happens is that it come you know if you want to use your phone with it to use it as a phone controller for your emulators and games you have to buy this thing off of ebay and it's just the saddest uh thing to buy because when you know when you, have, when you want to take it apart and put it in your pocket of wait for storage you have to take it off in two pieces or if you lose a piece then you're screwed you know this is just bad design they actually make these ones with hinges, you know, for PS3 controllers, but they don't make them with hinges for these, this thing. So I basically uh, Frankenstein one that actually does swing with the hinge onto the thing. But anyway, this is the uh, thing I invented. I put it together and I, I, I attached it to the back of this thing. The thing I learned is that you know when you mold and there's something called injection molding in the in the business world there are thermoplastics that you can melt down and pretty much make anything out of them everything's made from injection molding of course and uh i didn't know what kind of plastic to use because some you know i bought a bunch of dice off of ebay and the dice are not the ones that i had before are made from a very uh probably abs plastic which is very strong plastic that's easy to melt down and mold into whatever you need it to do. And uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, the, di the dice I have, I don't know what the plastic is made out of. It seems to be very cheap material. It didn't actually, uh, you know, mold the way I expected it to. Maybe it needed to be burned down a lot better. But I decided then to use bottle cap, you know, for, you know, just your standard issue detergent. Uh, dishwashing detergent and uh, it actually melted down without burning that's the thing I wanted to have happen the thing about these kinds of plastics that they use for bottle caps is that they're designed to be tough so that when you're constantly using the bottle cap and swinging it back and forth they're called a living hinge plastic so anytime you want to find a plastic that's can or even you know, just I think all bottle caps are probably made from living hinge material, but the point is that the living hinge stuff, it's made and designed to take constant, constant trauma and survive it. You know what I mean? Because it's constantly being opened and closed. So that plastic, when you melt it down and, and remold it into something else, it's gonna be tough as you know balls. I mean, this thing is tough on there. You know, I can feel how darn tough it is. This is the entire bottle cap that I melted down and uh, used to, to 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 press these two pieces together and mold them together. And it's like a very thick, thick, tough resin that you would buy at the store, except it's just pure plastic. And I guess if you you know determined to break this thing apart, you could do it. But at the moment, it's just perfectly fine. It's made from that 
living hinge bottle cap material so it's very resistant to impact and you know it can take any kind of beating you throw at it at the moment it's you know that's it this is all you needed to get and uh you can put the phone inside of here and do it you play your game or whatever and then when you're done slap it down like that put it in your pocket and that's it you don't have to go crazy with this thing it's really you know it's perfectly what they should have made i'm contemplating uh buying these and like you know a bunch of these and just you know because this is cheap this costs like two dollars tops four dollars tops for the whole thing that's a steal I say I buy these two things and I, I make more of these and I sell them to people who want to have this kind of thing and, and be able to have, you know, I can't, the only thing is that I, I don't really know how to get it to, you know, I'd have to chop off this whole top piece here, I guess, to get the phone to, the phone will never actually completely get e easily folded down onto the thing, but I could do it. I could kind of, you know, do a little bit more modification on it and get rid of that, that big floppy top piece and maybe the phone will be able to go down on it. But we'll see, alright? So that's all I wanted to really show you. That's it.